Hello guys, I'm Agnes Malum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'll be making this yummy recipe you see here. It's called Chin Chin. It's a very common snack in Africa and it's so common during the Christmas and New Year season in my country, Cameroon. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. The ingredients, we have some eggs. I'm using four eggs some butter you can also use margarine if you want to next we have evaporated milk nutmeg and vanilla flavor and the next one we have a wine a bottle of wine things we don't have the rolling pin we have some baking powder some flour to spray and those are all the ingredients which I just mentioned. We're using the wine bottle because we don't have the roller pin. So we're using that. That's it. So right now we're breaking the eggs to get started. So I always like to make chin chin on my own. I can buy but I don't like to buy it. I always like to do chin chin. It's something that I really like to do. So when we're done, we just have to beat the eggs until we get a foamy texture. Just keep beating. Once that is done. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. I've been making chin chin since when I was a kid. I think when I was like 8 or 10 years old. <laughs> right. So I'm going to blend the sugar and the milk. That's the evaporated milk, guys. And our egg is already set as well. So we're going to mix everything together and just stir. So the egg and the sugar should mix together so we are adding the eggs right now and we just stay for everything to mix and we put a pinch of salt guys i forgot to mention when i was showing the ingredients so you want to put a pinch of salt i just so i'll continue my story so I've always loved making change and since I was a kid. So it's like a tradition. Well, before I continue, we have to add in some nutmeg. <laughs> Guys, sorry. Measure a nutmeg and you put it inside of the flour. The flour. And some baking soda as well. And you notice I'm going to mix in the... Put in the vanilla flavor i was supposed to put this with the wet ingredients but i mixed it in here but that's fine as well just letting you guys know so you can do that when you're doing it so we put in the margarine sorry the butter and we massage or we just rub it in with the fingertips everything inside just go in and just do your thing so like I was saying, so chin chin has always been like a tradition in my home. We always do it, especially during the Christmas period. If they decide they're not doing chin chin any year, guys, it's going to be a fight because I will not let that happen. There's this one time that my mom decided to buy chin chin from someone else and I was so angry about it. I made my chin chin list and I handed it over to my dad. I'm like, we need to make chin chin in this house and he gave us the money and we make and we made it the fun part about making chin chin is when you're doing all the styles with the forks and the spoon and then you're eating the raw chin chin itself it's so amazing i miss those I memories to say, i miss those days not memory so right here you notice i'm done rubbing it in you see how it looks make sure you press it when you have it folding like that it means it's ready it looks like the fine breadcrumb this looks like fufu when you're about to sift it so it has to look like this before you put in the wet ingredients if not you have to keep rubbing it in so you see how fine it looks 
that means we're good to go so i'm going to put in a wet ingredient the egg the milk the sugar and i'm going to rub with my fingertips as well you need both hands but since i was holding down the pot i'm using just one hand but i'll try subsequently i'm gonna use my two hands anyway so just keep pouring in everything i want to do it um little by little you don't want to put it all at once because sometimes it might be too much it might get too soft yeah and always make sure you don't put too much butter because when there's too much butter it becomes too uh, foamy when you're frying you don't want it to be too too rich with stuff like that you just want to measure the correct quantity and if the butter too is short as well the chin chin is going to be so hard so yeah you have to get the right measurement measure with your eyes in cameroon we hardly measure with measuring stuff we use the eyes and we just side it we know this quantity is gonna be okay so yeah i'm putting everything inside i'm just gonna rub it and yeah just keep rubbing that in yeah just keep going in so now i'm using my two hands i'm just gonna rub it in and so yeah that's the mixture look at how beautiful that looks this feel like christmas that's how christmas smell christmas smell like chin chin if you know what i mean like every household right now in cameroon they're frying chin chin for christmas some are doing it after new year like if you don't fry chin chin in your house god it's like it's something wrong with you that's the tradition and it goes so well with fried peanuts, popcorn, donut, oh my god, and a bottle of Fanta or Coke. So I'm just cutting it into pieces that I'm going to roll. I'll do that. So I'm making sure the sizes are similar so I'll be able to roll, roll them nicely. So now I'm just putting some flour on it so it doesn't stick too much and i'm closing the pot and i'll let it i'll let it to set for a little bit you notice i use the paper there to cover the hole so you need to put you need trays that you're gonna cut the chin chin and so i'm just putting flour on it so the chin chin doesn't stick so if you're not frying chin chin in your house guys i don't know that's not christmas no chin chin no christmas <laughs> i'm so serious that's how it is no chin chin no christmas so yeah i just rubbed the trays i'm going to use i'm just cleaning down where i'm going to roll my chin chin going in with some flour so it doesn't stick and that's my wine girl in cameroon the best butter to use is the gino butter if you don't have the rolling thing so i'm just making it flat i normally don't like the pastry maker or the pastry machine or stuff i like it to do it myself natural as in i want to use the knife and cut that's why i was so mad at my mom for going to buy chin chin that they use the machine to make when i can use my hands i just want all the work the stress of chin chin yeah so i'm just going to cut it down so right here you can decide to do whatever sometimes we use like forks to press it down to make like different kind of styles you can also cut holes and then wrap it but i'm just going in with my knife and just cutting it down nicely in the same sizes yeah so just do that and when you're done yeah just keep cutting So that's why I put the flour on the tray so it doesn't stick. And you notice I'm also putting some flour on my working space right there so it doesn't stick on it as well. So yeah, that's the whole process. Just cut. So why you're cutting the chin chin towards the end, just put the oil on the fire so it gets warm so you see i'm just trying the first one to make sure the oil is good to go when it floats and comes up then we're good to go we can start frying 
See that? So we're all set. You can start frying. Yeah, I just go in with my chin chin. I just put everything inside the oil. Yeah, guys, you need to be very careful because hot oil is friend to no nobody. Trust me. No matter how an expert you are in the kitchen, you just want to be careful so you don't burn yourself. So you have to put it gently. So I advise you can use a spoon to put it inside. I just wanted to use my hand since I was using the spoon to stay because I didn't want it to get burned. So make sure the oil too is not too hot. My oil was not too hot. It was okay, but I just wanted to keep stirring while putting more of it. So yeah. Yeah, so I'm just stirring that down. So you want to make sure you're close by the board so you're checking it regularly. So we're all done for the first round of frying. Look at how beautiful the color looks. You don't want it too brownish. You just want a soft brown color. Like look at how that looks. So take it out and just put it in a dish with something to drain the oil. What's not to like about Chin Chin? Look at that beauty. That smells and looks and feels like Christmas, guys. All I want for Christmas is Chin Chin. <laughs> so, guys, that's the video of Chin Chin. If you want to try it, then go ahead. It's not difficult. It's so easy to make Chin Chin. Trust me. And also, it's not just a Christmas recipe like I'm talking about Christmas and New Year. It's been eaten all over the the year in parties in weddings birthdays funerals any gathering people meet that's what we do we eat chin chin it's very popular and very common you trust me you want to try it one day guys it's good thank you guys for watching the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and in case you're trying the recipe when you do let me know how it went Hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and hit the subscription button merry merry christmas and thank you guys be blessed